Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and finally I am going to be showing you guys a tour of our bookcases. I went back and forth with certain things many times on how we wanted to display things on our movie shelves and I am finally super happy with how it all turned out. I still am buying tons and tons of stuff to add to the bookshelves whether they're movies or you know books or decorations or things like that but I'm so excited with how it is for now. In this video I'm not going to be going like shelf by shelf like I did in like my Disney movie collection. I will be doing an entire Disney movie collection and regular movie collection and all our movie collections eventually. So in this video I'm not going to be going through every little single thing but I will be going through some specific things particularly this corner unit here which houses zero movies. Let's just get started. So the first corner unit here when you first come down into the basement the first two shelves are Sam's movies and these are his collection. He collects all the movies that have won Best Picture at at the Oscars so he doesn't have all 93 yet we have 80 of them so almost all of them besides the Oscars we have Sam's little director's award that he won when he was in high school and he had this stored away and I kind of found it when we were moving into this house and I thought it was adorable so I'm like you can be the best director you have your little award here with the Oscars and then the next three shelves are our TV series. Sorry, I forgot to say that the Oscars are in order of year that they won. For the most part, all our movies are alphabetical, so obviously these are not. <laughs> Back to the TV series. These are all alphabetical, and some of our favorite ones we kind of have displayed with the first season out, like this, like CSI in New York, Avatar, Looney Tunes, The Office. There's definitely more I want to get. I definitely want to finish up the empty ones. I think I'm missing two seasons of CSI in New York. I'm missing a few seasons of Criminal Minds. So there's a few I want to finish up. There's a few more I want to collect. So then we have this corner unit here, which is one of these skinny Billy bookcases. I forgot to mention all of the bookcases are the Billy bookcases from Ikea. If you've been watching my channel and you've seen like my Disney movie collection before, you'll know that they're all Billy bookcases. But in case this is your first time on my channel or you're new to the channel, all of the bookcases are the Billy bookcases and then we have two of the small ones. It was really funny when we were kind of building these because I've watched so many YouTubers who have all the Billy bookcases for books and stuff and I don't know how they were able to make the two line up so perfectly with this corner one. I could not for the life of me figure it out. However, I have a very handy father who put in these inserts here to make it look like the bookcases are completely connected when they're not actually. So for the longest time, this middle unit was very wobbly because it wasn't really against the wall or anything. But luckily, I have the handiest dad in the world who was able to put these corner pieces in so that it isn't wobbly. And also another thing he did was that he drilled the units together so that they're super, super close together and also drilled them to the wall so that they're, you know, stuck. At the top of this first shelf, we have two books that are all about the Oscars. This book I got Sam for Christmas a couple years ago and then this one my aunt and uncle gave Sam for Christmas a couple years ago. We have an entire Oscar section here. Sam has said he would love to get like a plastic Oscar figurine to put up here. I think that'd be really cool. Next shelf down is a Beauty and the Beast shelf. I have my crystal Beauty and the Beast Enchanted Rose that I bought in Disney World many years ago. I have my signed photo that Paige O'Hara signed. And then I have a storybook of Beauty and the Beast as well as the art of Beauty and the Beast. This includes the art of the animated as well as the live action Beauty and the Beast. The next shelf we have this clapper board. I actually found this off of Etsy and I think you can color or draw what you want in chalk. I haven't figured out if I want anything there yet so for now it's just blank and I think it's just kind of cool it's just this little clapper board. Then the next shelf you guys have seen these before but I have my little crocheted porgs and BB-8 that my friend Allison made me. The next shelf is kind of random. I have my stuffed puppy dog. He is the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean. He has, you know, his keys and stuff. I bought this when I lived in Florida and I just thought he was so freaking cute and I had to have him. And then I have two sets of collectible keys from the Disney store. I've shown this one before. 
This is the Disney Studios collection. So we have Walt Disney Animation Studios, Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilms. And then this is the newest addition to the collection. This is the Mickey Mouse collection. So it has three different Mickey Mouse keys in it. I literally just bought this a couple days ago. Then on the bottom, we just have some magazines. I'm pretty sure all of these are Star Wars. Oh, nope, one isn't. So we have this one about the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, this one is about the complete guide to the entire uh, saga, so it includes all three trilogies. And this one's all about the making of Star Wars with George Lucas. And then we have the ultimate guide to a Disney favorite. So moving on to the rest of the shelves, like I said, I'm not going to go into super, super detail about every single thing because I will eventually do an entire Disney movie collection, an entire non-Disney movie collection. And in that video, I will show everything on each shelf. So I'll just point out a couple things and kind of how I have things organized. So the first thing at the very top, we have mostly books. So originally when we first started organizing the movies onto the bookshelves, we did have movies on the top. But if you watched my like setting up video, you may have noticed there was a part in it where I was kind of wiping down all of the shelves and in doing that I kind of moved all the movies around just to like wipe down a shelf and when I was doing that I thought it'd probably be easier to store books at the top because where we will be reaching for the movies we don't reach for the books super duper often so I thought those would be easier to have on the top shelves and then start all the movies on the second shelves. So that was my thought process. Maybe it'll change eventually, I don't know. Okay, I'll go through the books a little bit, but before I do that, I'll just show you guys. These first two shelves here are all my Disney movies. We have them all alphabetized, and if you watched my Disney movie collection video, it's the same kind of order that I described in that video, so I'll link that down below. I'm not gonna go through it all again because that was a process of explaining how I organize my movies, but for the most part, they're alphabetical. So we have the start over here, and they go all the way down to this shelf here. So I still have three more shelves left for Disney movies, and then there's still a little bit of space in between where I can move some things around. We have another one of the skinny Billy bookcases with the regular Billy bookcase, and all of these movies are our non-Disney, non-Oscar, non-TV series movies. I actually find it kind of funny that we have way less normal movies in comparison to Disney movies. First thing at the top, we have a BBE9 and a BB8 droid. And then we have my special edition plush droids that I got at the Disney store a couple years ago. And then we have my Rise of Skywalker box and my Avengers Endgame box. Both of these I got from the Disney Movie Club. I have videos where I open these. I'll link those down below if you're interested. For the most part, all of these books up here are in some way related to a movie. The first thing we have here, we have three different copies of A Monster Calls. The first one is the actual novel. The second is the graphic novel. And then the third is the art of the movie Monster Calls. Sam and I made an entire video about the movie and the book A Monster Calls. We both absolutely love this movie. It is so freaking underrated. If you haven't seen A Monster Calls, please go watch it. It is so good. Moving on, we have Reflection and As Old As Time. I think they're like Disney reinterpretations of stories and they're from the A Twisted Tale collection. The rest are all, they're all movies that were turned into books or movies about books. The Sisters Brothers, Fight Club, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Sully, the Agatha Christie collection, a long time ago in Cutting Room Far, Far Away. This is written by someone who was involved with the editing process of Star Wars, a Hobbit's journal, as well as the journal from Gravity Falls of the Irishman, the Martian, the Da Vinci Code, Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. Why we only have one of these, I don't know, but Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers, and The Hobbit. Take a wild guess what the theme of this shelf is. I have here the art of The Force Awakens, the art of The Last Jedi, art of Rise of Skywalker, and art of The Mandalorian. There is art of Star Wars, art of Rogue One, and art of Solo that I do want to collect, but these are all I have right now. And then we have the original trilogy novelization. We have the sequel novels. And then right here, I have a little framed Star Wars Rise of Skywalker poster with a film strip and then next to it I have 
a mini book of the entire Star Wars poster collection. So this includes poster art from all over the world from the original trilogy all the way up until Rise of Skywalker. One more thing I also want to add to this shelf including the art of books is I need to get novels of the prequel trilogies. Next shelf, pretty simple. We have our signed photo from Christopher Lloyd. We got this at the Calgary Expo a few years ago. So Christopher Lloyd actually signed this. He was very sweet. And the next shelf is not very full yet, but I'm sure we'll fill it up with more stuff. Currently the theme of it is Studio Ghibli. We have the art of Spirited Away, the art of Princess Mononoke. And then the last thing on this shelf is a storyboard Japanese copy of Howl's Moving Castle. Sam found this at the Calgary Expo many years ago as well. So it has all the storyboards and it's all written in Japanese, which is really, really cool. So those are our movie bookcases. We do have some special shelves behind me by the TV where we have kind of like a special collection of the Star Wars. We have Avengers, Jaws, and Lord of the Rings. We have special shelves for those collections. I'm not going to show those in this video because they're not quite done yet. Only the Marvel one is done, but the other three are not done. I'll probably include those when I do an entire basement tour, which at this point, I don't know when I'm going to film that. We're still waiting for one more thing to get done down here. I don't know when it's going to get done because my dad is doing it and he has a lot of projects on his hands right now. So completing literally doors for cabinets is like the least of his priorities right now, which is fine. It's not a big deal. The basement is still completely functional without them. If you don't mind seeing the basement tour without those done, Maybe leave this a like, let me know, and maybe I'll do a basement tour without it being like 100% done. I can do a basement tour if you want me to. Just leave this video a like, let me know if you would like that sooner rather than later. These are our movie bookcases. I am so happy. This was the vision I had in mind when Sam and I originally moved into this house. Even before we moved into this house, when we were looking for houses and we knew whatever house we got, we wanted to develop our basement into a movie space. The way we have this set up, I kid you not, is exactly how I envisioned it. So I'm very happy with how it turned out. It is absolutely so perfect. I love displaying all our movies. I love all the little knickknacks and stuff we have on all the shelves. So along with doing an entire basement tour, I will also, like I said many times in this video, will do a tour of every single shelf and all the movies. Those just take a long time to film and edit, so please bear with me for those videos, but it will they will come. They'll be they'll come eventually. All the little things that I mentioned that I can find, I'll link down below like all the books and stuff if I can find them on wherever I bought them, I'll link them down below so if there was anything in this video I mentioned that you were like I need to get myself a copy of The Art of the Mandalorian I'll try to find that and have it linked down below for you to check out thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you want that full basement tour sooner rather than later I will definitely get that together for you guys I just need to finish up a few more things down here on my own that aren't those doors that I mentioned thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it I post new videos every single Friday plus bonus videos every once in a while. I would love to have you here so please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye everybody!